What's up guys? My name is Alec Lehrman. I am here to talk to you about Barry Harris, a very famous jazz piano player and how it relates to the guitar. There are two concepts you need to grasp in order to understand where Barry Harris is coming from. One is that in the major scale he added one note, the sharp five. So from the key of C major, C, D, E, F, G, G sharp, A, B, C. Why is that relevant? Well now we can go Five ones or G7 to C major, and also in the relative minor of C major, which is A minor, we can go five ones, so B7, A minor. So now we have that kind of cadence going on. Second concept is that he thought major seventh intervals were two tenths, they needed to be resolved. So this, he wanted it to resolve, or So what he chose to do was um, create chords major six, so C, E, G, A. It would sound like this. Instead of, it would sound like this, because that E is now lowered. Now how this applies to the guitar, with those two concepts in mind, um, you get if you build out the chords from that scale, if you build out the chords from this is what you're going to get. You're going to get, we're in the key of C major, you're going to get. Now we're moving, scooting all the notes up one. Same idea. And then back down. Now, why this matters is that essentially you're taking this the scale and it's turning it in the chord structure. Um, you're turning the chords and the scale into just two chords, which is the one, which is C C major or A minor, C major six or A minor, and then a five, which could be considered G seven or E seven. So basically, <laughs> with that addition of, you're now able to simplify the scale. So before it was like, now it's just two chords. It's a it's the one chord and the five chord. One five one five one one five one five one five one five. One, now this is very, very useful for, um, for a chord soloing. Um, another thing, now if we're trying to apply it to modern day guitar, um, what I would suggest is that, so here, here, here's what it is before, um, without any, uh, this is like Barry Harris's way of thinking, so it'd be C, um, voicing on the guitar is C, and then G, A, E, and then we have a diminished chord. Um, D, A flat, B, F, and you just keep walking um, the notes up the scale. And then we have E, G, or E, A, C, G. Then we have an F diminished chord, which is F, B, D, G sharp, and so on. Some of these chords are not as hip, in my opinion. So, like, to me, um, if we were to apply the Barry Harris model in modern day, we're going to be breaking a couple rules. Mainly the rule is that this major seventh, we can allow now. So to me, this sounds more modern. So C, and instead of this chord, I don't really like that chord. Maybe, or, so. So I basically, for the one like the one chord, I'd add, I'd go back and have it be a major seventh now. So I can do that kind of hammer on thing, and then for I keep that chord, and then this next chord I uh, do it like a 
B, A, D, G. So that'd be the modifications of the Barry Harris. And you can think of this as in C major or A minor. Um, they're both the exact same. So it'd be like one. So if you're thinking A minor, one, five, one, five, one, five, one. So now we're able to get some more modern sounds from the Barry Harris method. We only have to worry about the one chord and the five chord. So. Which is really nice. Um, so you kind of get that, I don't know what you'd call it, a gospel -y or whatever, it's just a smoother sound and it's easy to wrap your brain around because you only have one chord, or two chords to worry about really, the one chord and the five chord. Um, so I hope that is helpful. I'm gonna do a follow-up um, video on this very subject, but then applying it, you know, we can, do, we can look at a song. You can let me know which song you guys would like to look at. So yeah, thank you guys for checking me out. Um, hope y'all are doing well.